Hi, so uh, I'll talk about the chapter, the first, second chapter you're going to cover in this model training course. It's called Model Basics. So the elements we're going to cover here are first of all how uh, the, the model interface looks like. So this is a picture illustration to review how a model looks like. So you have a number of blocks, you can see site news here, administration block, the courses block, and then on the other side here you can have calendar, of course you can add others, this which we'll see later on, and then in the middle here you can have the course itself. Other things that we're, you're going to have in this uh, chapter is how to create an account, which you have already done, and that's why you are following this course now uh, so this is the procedure so you start now by creating an account you follow all the steps in there after that uh, you create an account you get into the model course so you can uh, update your uh, profile information it's like emails you can use a name passwords email addresses first name city etc and the next is that you can change passwords and all types of information that you can uh, change in your user profile uh, block. Then a first look at a course. So you have a block that shows you the different types of courses available. And then you choose whatever course you are interested in and then you get enrolled so here is a, an example of a course here so inside this course you see that there are a number of elements so there's the introduction in here and then the first chapter second chapter etc so this is the course layout in this one it is a topic outline and this is the related to the next point we're going to cover so then this is a the administration block for the course so all types of things you can do and this administration block you have is on the left side usually on the left side of the of the course the course formats so types of formats you can have uh, different types of formats so this one is a week format let's say it starts with week one week two week three etc you can have another type of format, which is a topic outline, topic formats. It, start, it deals with topics like chapter 1, 2, as you have in this course you're following now. Uh, discussion or social format is kind of discussion topic or course that is gone through via discussions. Now you can edit whatever course you have there is a course settings that you can edit so you have here the category the full name the summary the format the beginning of the course enrollment number of topics or weeks so the course settings you have a number of things that you can change so you have here these numbers so you can go through them and know what types of things you can change and update whenever you want using the editing mode then the editing mode how are you going to enter information into your course resources activities etc. the first thing you do is that you turn editing on there's a function called a turn editing on you either you can have it here on the administration block on the left you see now because it's on it tells you turn editing off or you can have it at the top right here it's not appearing but you can have it so after you click on that magic button you have all these numbers of tools so what do these buttons mean so you have a kind of table that shows you the picture of each icon and then its function then the next thing to add materials etc you have to blocks for that either you add a resource and these are the types of things you can add compose the web page compose a web page link to a file and we're going to see in the following chapters how we can do all this
or you can add activities. You have a number of activities you can add, like sound amount, attendance, chat, and this is also things we're going to cover in the following chapters of this course. So in there here I have this um, table that tells you the name of each activity and what what does it mean, what it means. Please you go through these things. Fine. So the last thing we're going to see is uh, how you can uh, add content to a course. You can add forum for example, so you simply click on like you go back here so you have activity so you can add a forum you click on it and then you have this this window and then you can enter the subjects and then the message etc and then you so that's it and thank you very much